Hello and welcome to the 17th episode of the Rocket League Map Making Tutorial Series. Today I'm going to show you how to run two versions of Rocket League for basic multiplayer testing. So I have my Epic version open right here. I have it open in windowed and in 1280 by 720 just so I can have two versions of Rocket League on my same monitor. I don't want to use my two monitors for the two Rocket Leagues. We're going to start by just opening BoxMod and we're going to inject it. It's Epic. I'm going to try and make this a shorter one since it's a pretty simple process. You just need to know what the simple process is. Alright, so Bucky's Mod is in Epic. And next I'm going to open the Steam version of Rocket League. Alright, and now we have the Steam version of Rocket League open. We're going to open the the Dell injector. Bucky's Mod won't inject into two versions of Rocket League. So you need some sort of injector. I use this one, which I can put in the Google Drive. You'll have to let it through your Windows Defender. A lot because it's a DLL injector so it can technically do harmful things but I've had this thing for like a year it doesn't like inject things that you don't tell it to and so right here you can say I have boxmod.dll and plugins.dll so if you go into your boxmod and then file open boxmod folder and you go into DLL you can see these two you're gonna need to add these into the inject list because that's how boxmod works is with these two DLLs Okay, and then for the process, you can select, you can hit select, and then window list, and then it's going to be the top version for me. So I hit select, and then inject. Close that, and there we go. Now we have Bucky's Mod in both Rocket Leagues, so I can join myself in Rocket Plugin, because joining a local match won't work, strangely enough, so I do it this way. Next thing is you're going to need your local IP, so if you go to your command prompt, this is going to be very blurred, but type in ipconfig. You'll see something that says IPv4 address. And then you basically just copy that or remember it, whatever. And then you put that into the IP address in Rocket Plugin. So I'm going to go to Champions Field. And I'm going to host it. And then I'm going to join myself with my local IP, which I'll put in. All right, put in local IP, joining, and there we go. Now I have joined myself, and you can see right here that I am on a little bit of ping. Now, this process isn't going to be a definitive check for two people. There are still some things that won't work 100% correctly, but it's pretty good for getting out most of the basic bugs of multiplayer of something's not working or syncing or whatever. So if you want to just do basic bug testing with two people, this is the way to do it. This is how I do most of my multiplayer tests. Because it'll work for one person, doesn't mean it'll work for two people. If it works for your, you and yourself, it doesn't mean it's going to work for four people. But it's a good test depending on what map you're doing. Depending on what map you're doing, you usually won't have to do more than just this test. Because it's pretty good. Only a few things like uh, netcode's a little wonky sometimes. Uh, it's really random, but it is a little wonky. And stuff like the map expansion plugin, which I'll make a tutorial for next week. That's a little, little wonky sometimes. It just kind of depends. But that's going to do it for this tutorial. It's a really quick one. Uh... You can find the injector that I use in the Google Drive in the description if you want to download it for yourself. You're gonna to have to let it through your Windows Defender again. It's gonna, it's gonna count it. It's gonna say it's a Trojan. Uh, I've always allowed it, and I've had no problems with it in like the year or two that I've used it. So you don't have to worry about it. But that's gonna do it for me. So I'll see you next time.